I feel like I've never seen a horse that is visibly stressed out. They always just look at you like this and make direct eye contact. Who knows how these fellas even ended up on the water or what's letting them do the Jesus and skate on water. They certainly don't seem that concerned about it. Hi again, fellas, and today we're looking at a subreddit called Black Magic Effery. You know what word I'm replacing because it's too early in the video for naughty words. This subreddit has standard magic tricks that are cool to watch and try to figure out how they pulled it off. There's really odd looking things like optical illusions and real world phenomena that seem unexplainable even though there's definitely a dumb science reason for why. In discussions like this, my mind returns to that one green text post of computing power. Get a rock, melt rock. Turn rock into powder. Turn rock into crystal. Turn it back into a rock. Inscribe ancient runes with powerful magic onto rock. Trick rock into thinking. Can now use this evolved rock to play Skyrim with the most degenerate mods imaginable. How the hell did they figure this out? When building a fictional magic system that acts as the core of what that world and society is about, the more advanced it gets, if you create explanations for all of it, it's basically magic. Science is the real world's magic system, and I don't care about all the ways that comparison falls apart under scrutiny. Please keep the sobering reality of life that this cruel world has beaten into you to yourself. If you enjoy this video, this card at the end will take you to another one like it. Also, less than 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on. If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. I think my meat was trying to tell me something today. Yeah, mine tries to tell me the same thing every day. Please stop hurting me. That shit was rearranging in front of our eyes like we're the demigods with dyslexia and Percy Jackson fucking YA novel ass reference. <laughs> I wonder if the first guy to ever see some shit like this happen on a wet piece of paper on their deli meats thought to themselves, Damn, this shit would go hard if the letters were in soup instead. <laughs> Is it weird to say that on a very fundamental level, I relate to that ladder? It's just waddling its way through life, one micro step at a time. He gets to the ledge of the roof he's comfortable working on, but it's a comfort only derived from the fact he's never known anything else. A sense of wonder calls to the ladder. It hesitates at first, but it steals itself and eventually takes that leap of faith into the great unknown. And then it falls flat on its face and cartoonish sounds of things breaking and falling over can be heard off screen. Speaking of random shit just getting up and wiggling for no reason, not my penis. Surprisingly, I have no idea what the deal is with metal poles getting happy about some shit. Just standing here for three minutes, trying to figure out how this is shaking. There's no wind. There's nothing on it. In another of countless examples of humans pack bonding with quite literally anything, I know you'll understand what I'm talking about when I say it, but isn't that pole like Kind of cute. He looks like he's wiggling around because he can't contain how much he's happy about something. It's like a dog getting the zoomies or wagging its tail. Now, unfortunately, I gotta spoil the fun a little bit here. This isn't really black magic because I know exactly how this particular oddity is being pulled off. You see, there's a little mole man underground who is wiggling around the pole whenever somebody walks by to freak them out. He tries to give his arms a break when he's not being observed, and he kind of hates the dude who's recording this video because his forearms are burning and this bum refuses to move on. I know for a fact that the person who poked that shower head felt so disappointed in themselves. They got greedy. They tried to play God and alter the course of a beautiful act of coincidence, and they destroyed that beauty in the process. Because of their arrogant actions to attempt to control what can't, it backfired on them and the water sprayed onto them in the end where they were the ones who got hurt. Get it? It's a metaphor for jumping for the beef instead of the chicken. If you didn't know, this is basically just how those jet ski jetpacks work, if you've ever seen the videos of people gliding around on them. They're just really good at shooting water back down so that you can basically do a lowercase j Jesus simulator. You will never be him. That's literally Christ. Of course you aren't. You know, I really fuck with this one because I actually have one of these things. If you don't know what ferrofluid is, it's basically just a liquid metal or metal with liquid in it. I don't remember. It reacts to magnets no matter what, but if you want to make it react to sound with a microphone, it actually has to be hooked up to a battery. I usually just have it sitting on my desk while I work, and it's kind of the worst thing I could have ever bought for myself. And that's because it's really mesmerizing, and my ADHD gets me distracted very easily. Productivity at Quite HQ has decreased by roughly 30% since the the 
introduction of the symbiote. I have not charged the battery on that thing since it died because, like Venom, it's alert to give me what I want. Dopamine, very quickly, comes at a horrible cost. My work ethic. And when my friend John said he found a body in the bushes over there, I ran over there because I'm a healing monk to try and help, but obviously my magic wasn't strong enough because... The dude's body was missing a head. Yeah, that clip did not go in any direction I expected it to. A guy dressed for a renaissance fair being labeled a witness on the news leaves a lot of clues to piece together the picture. But by the time you may have figured it out on your own, the guy's already moved on to the headless dead body he found. This might seem out of place in a video about black magic effery, but this is genuinely the only meta post I've seen on the subreddit. It's the only clip that takes the black magic moniker entirely literally. You know, it's got the traditional definition. So my friend decided to try and use a necromancer spell, which didn't work, which I knew it wouldn't. And apparently we contaminated the crime scene because that spell uses a lot of glitter. Necromancy, they contaminated a crime scene, dude. Bro saw a decapitated body, but did not let himself slip out of character. Even trying to revive the dude, knowing that it wouldn't work on account of the missing head. Apparently to him, commitment to the bit was worth tampering with evidence. He let his friend do some shit that might get him in trouble with the feds and just let it happen because he knew that shit would be funny as hell. Quicksand. Damn, he fully committed to slamming his tailbone on that blob. He just had full faith that he was gonna get some rebound instead of having his momentum neutralized. And I'm starting to realize that I have no idea what the fuck quicksand actually is. The common meme is that growing up, TV convinced us that quicksand was gonna be a much bigger and more common problem than it ever was in our lives. They talked about it like we were liable to see it on the side of the road wherever we went. And to be fair, I have a little more experience with quicksand than most do. I've almost lost several pairs of sneakers to those pits while hiking but when the hell did a trampoline variant of the stuff become canon? We were always told it was gonna drown us and not to move when we're in it or we drown faster. The homie here is breaking every single established rule, so what the fuck is this? I've never heard about something like this in my entire life. Like, I know I'm a stupid American who thinks that the world revolves around me and my country, because unfortunately it does, but if some stuff is sufficiently cool enough, the existence of it will still probably manage to get across the border. But this one is completely new to me, man, and this is awesome. I'm missing out over here. And also, I gotta say the dude who's just skimming the river on his hand, like you might with the passing current on a normal river, is a uh, hard as fuck. Just casually letting the sand brush your fingers with a cigarette lit on the other. What more could you ask for? In other new shit I didn't know was already possible, this! I didn't realize that jets could, like, hover. And I mean, I probably could have just Googled that. I thought helicopters were able to hover because the thing that makes them fly is the center propeller. And Battlefield 4 taught me that there is not any stopping in a jet when you start going. Oh, you want to stay still in the air and not move? Sorry, bud, you're crashing into that building. There are four people in this photo. At first glance, the fourth shot of whiskey here genuinely looks like the guys are squishing it up to keep it up, you know, just pressed it in. And then suddenly, the arm on the left materializes out of nowhere and you're like, ah! This might be the only time I've seen that kind of camo work flawlessly. Turns out that I'm just as easy to fool as the common deer. I am destined to be hunted down and made into little cutlets of venison bacon. Okay, very cool, oddly satisfying liquid simulation corridor crew. But I know what the VFX of a YouTuber who is good at their craft but is working on a PC instead of a supercomputer looks like. Draining glyphosate into a container looks like a glitch in the Matrix in video. Okay, yeah, I'm the stupid one, I guess. Sorry guys, it was real. It's just when the camera held still on the liquid coming out of it, it genuinely took me a few seconds because each wave of goo looked almost identical when you just glance at it. I really thought it was gonna be a looping gif, and then when he raised the camera, I was like, I get fluid sims are cool and all, but why is this on black magic for- Oh my god! Type beat. This is a clip I think we've all seen a thousand times. Some of the more blockheaded viewers out there may have tried a much wussier version of this where you can wave your hand through fire for a split second and not get burned because of a micro layer of fluid or who fucking cares. There is something about that lava smacking video that I have never seen someone adequately address. The smacks that guy gave the lava are meaty. They might seem sluggish, but look at the arc in his follow through, dude. That man either has practiced slap boxing or practiced slapping behinds. Mm. 
Mm. The perfect fit of each configuration sliding perfectly into place and smoothly coming out when you pull it all the way was like four back to back to back to back punches on the prostate. This might be the best sensory video of all time. I need one of these physically immediately. Evan Roseman on Instagram, I need you to know that you have done me a great service today. I will not soon forget about it. You have all my gratitude and also my firstborn child if you want him. I wasn't going to keep him anyway, so he's all yours. This boardwalk switches colors when you change direction. Then it's the same color in the middle. Not gonna lie, this is freaking me out, but it seems useful as fuck if you're a tourist with a fucked up sense of the right of way. Keyword, right. British people would probably try walking on the left side of the boardwalk first, but then they would see the darker, more solid-seeming side of the boardwalk is obviously the intended path. Stick to the right or get out of my country. <laughs> Terrible sentence out of context. I showed my manager the tape roll and air compressor video, so he sent me this. This is the roll of tape and air compressor video if you haven't seen it. It's basically just the same thing, but with tape. Honestly, if my boss did that to me, I'd take it as a challenge. What, you send him a little cool video to try and make nice with him, suck up to get a promotion, and then this dickhead just has to one up you? He, he sends the same video in concept, but with an even bigger blower and a way cooler object. Technically, this video, he's bawling. Are you just gonna take him stepping all over you like that? Like he doesn't step on you enough when you're on the clock working for scraps from him. And you're just gonna let him get away with that? I mean, couldn't be me personally, but whatever works for you, man. Well, now that my government mandated instigation quota has been met for the day, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. That card I mentioned should be on screen. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on. Anyways, this has been quite, and I'll see y'all next time.